Hello, welcome back. Last time, after an entire LP of, like, inches of progress at a time, things suddenly rocketed forward toward an endgame, and, uh, a lot is going on. So I met Gen and Catherine in person, came to the fifth island that I hadn't been able to get to before. Catherine said to me, uh, I think I know how to signal Atris, but it will take both of us. You'll have to trap Gen before you can get the combination. In here, there is some sort of device. Clink, tap, 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 ding. Three sounds, uh, and then a lever to input, I guess, the, the sounds I just played. Uh, I assume that's the combination she's talking about, because the only other one could be the, uh, the safe opening, which I already had. Didn't have to trap him for that. Uh, also, again, in there, wants me to touch the book before him. These numbers look wrong. That's because they are. Uh, and um, I'm going to do that. Let's see what it does. I assume I would get trapped and probably see a different scene. Uh, I want to make sure animations are working here, so I won't skip this just yet. Animations are not working! Good thing I checked! There we go. Alright. Next time I play a game that requires an old Mac, I'm just going to use an old Mac because, boy, this emulator just doesn't work very well. Works barely well enough to play this, though. So, wait a second. Red. Yes, that's right. That's where this is going. Okay, so, <laughs> what was I doing? Uh, I was touching the book in here because I want to see what that does. Yeah, there's probably a couple of more endings I'll be able to see here. So there's the book that I entrapped him with. Inventory still just has the two journals in it. Here's the power thing that's powering on all of these. Here's something I don't have access to. So yeah, I could travel to another location, but I don't have any reason to right now. I'm gonna summon the man. Let's see what happens. So cursor is with me. Can't do stuff. I'm back. I'm relieved you've returned. Mm hmm I thought perhaps you had decided against it. Here. Yeah. I shall follow you directly. All right. Let's do it. Or like take his hand and put it on the book or something. That probably would not work. Ooh. Can he see me? What's that tool? Oh, he's coming. He's in here with me. All right, I trapped him. <laughs> I did it. Wait, what? I... He replaced me. That worked. Oh, cool. And I'm outside his cage now. I thought I was just going to see a bad ending there, but that did it. Okay. He took the bait. <laughs> Neat. This is a different book. Right? I think so. This one's unpowered. What's on the cover? Is this the age he's writing for the villagers to live in? Whatever he was talking about. I'm going to save my game right now. Going to use a different name. Gen Trapped. All right. Um, yeah, this book is unpowered. Doesn't seem like I can pick it up. I'll click. Nothing will happen. Okay. So he's trapped. I'm out here now. This is where I'm going to get the combination, maybe. So that's my goal out here. Here's his pipe. I can get a little closer. Here's a... What's this? Nothing. 
Why, why these two angles on the pipe? Here's a drink with a bone in it. Here's a, I don't know, mystery object. Beetle, okay, can't look inside this one it seems. So he made those himself, of course he did. Okay, uh, let's just assume that book is the one he was writing and there's nothing I can really particularly do with it. Prison book is back in my inventory. I have it here. Let's look at it. Okay, still just looks like Dunny. Of course it does. He wouldn't have touched it if it didn't. The rebels knew not to somehow. One of them was tempted, but, but the other one stopped him. All right, got a book with Gan in it. Could I just go destroy the Starfisher and win right now, I wonder? Do I even need Kath? Ah, uh, she's still trapped there, but like, Atris and I would have free reign of this place at that point, wouldn't we? Okay, so power device. I can turn it off if I want. I can turn it on if I want. That's a stock sound effect. That one's a classic. All right, let's leave the power off for now. I'll turn it back on later. Cage, yeah, cage is there. Uh, I assume I don't need to be in the cage to touch the books. Or maybe I do. Because, like, do I not have an angle that I can get at those from here now? I might not. Yeah, they all have little power cages around them, and those are maybe spaced too close together for me to fit my hands in. So I might have just entrapped myself here. What's this? What? Uh. Mystery object. Wait, hold on. It's a music box. Alright, this is what Gen likes, I guess. What's this shovel handle? Aha! Cage open, maybe. Something's trying to happen. There it goes. Neat. Okay, so that's my access to everything else. Great. Uh... What's down here? I got past again. So I can get the combination. Who's this? Is that Catherine? Maybe. Two again. Oh dear. Well, I need a magnifying glass to read that. I think that says husband. To again, my husband and my solution. Sure, my husband and my solution. I delist Marigold, do the love blob sound me. <laughs> That's my reading of that. It's in cursive and it's tiny. And that's maybe slightly younger again. Mm -hmm. Here's a... Gun? No? That's a... Maybe it's an instrument. Yeah, it's like a flute sort of thing. I see the holes. Here's a bed. Here's a book. Here's a... Oh! That's the combination. Whoa, tick, tick, tick. Play that again. I, lots of stuff happened all at once. I need to hear that a second time. D ding, tap, ding, ding, clank, clank. One more time, I already forgot. I'm trying to write it down. Ding, tap, ding, ding, clank, clank.
I'm glad I chose names for those so I would know what to call them. Uh, Alright, so that's the combination. What's this little handle? Nothing. Alright, so that's the information I needed. Oh no, cursive. Uh. <laughs> How much is there here? Oh. My eternal fate. Okay, that's not a horrific amount. At least it won't take multiple days to read. Let's leave that for a moment. I'll come back to it. Curse of Speed Readers. You already got all the information. Good for you. <laughs> Here's a sink. Yep, yeah, it's a sink. There's a handle here. What's that do? Yeah, it's just lights and stuff. Here's a projector. I feel like I'm seeing something here that I'm not really supposed to be seeing. That's for his eyes only. <laughs> Alright, so that's presumably his wife. I guess... That can't be Atrus's mother, though. Like, this is his wife from this world. Well, it could be her when she was a whole lot younger, maybe, but like... Age difference. This this person is clearly younger than Atrus. So, no. Uh, okay. Um, Alright. So that's a journal. Is there anything in the drawer? Clothes. Ceremonial robes that he wears. Okay, I want to try leaving this room. Yes, I'll get to you, journal. You can wait. I can wait for that. Okay, so right. Already checked this. Door. Only Gen knows how to open. All right. He had the key on him and he took it with him into the prison book. All right. So those are the bounds of what I can do here. All right, journal. Let's do it. Where are you? All right, page all the way back. I see dates. At least it's Gen's handwriting. This isn't this isn't Catherine, but they they're uncomfortably similar. No, this will be a lot easier, actually. This will be a lot easier. Okay, it's fine. 86, 9, 29. I start this latest journal with astounding news. Catherine has returned to the Fifth Age, and though it sets my teeth on edge to say it, she has also vanished as quickly as she appeared, stolen from me by the rebels. As my guard tells it, she linked into the Fisher Plateau Cage as I'd guessed, when suddenly he was set upon by a band of rebels who darted him and spirited her away. Hmm, that sounds familiar. I suspect the truth of the matter was that he was as so dumbfounded at actually witnessing someone link in after all this time that he presented an easy target for whichever rebel had happened by at that moment. The damnable luck of it. He did get a good enough look at her, though, to verify that it was indeed Catherine. He also claims that he inspected all of her belongings and found no linking book on her person. That must have happened before the rebels arrived. Uh, a fact which, if true, makes the question of why she's returned here all the more puzzling. While I am sick with the frustration at having lost the only quarry that Cage has ever caught, I am also filled with hope. She may yet provide me with a way back to Denis. It is true that I have managed, despite overwhelming odds, to break free of the confines of the Fifth Age and resume my mission to save my culture from extinction. But I fear that unless I am able to regain access to the vast resources that lie in the city's ruins... Where's that? The task of reconstructing that great civilization will be impossible. If Catherine did bring a linking book with her, then I am halfway there. If not, then she is trapped in the Fifth Age, and I can assume that my emotionally crippled son will soon be along to rescue her. <laughs> Either way, it is crucial to my plans that I find her soon. Her presence here now forces me to take the rebels more seriously. 
I should never have permitted them to survive this long. Uh, sometime later. Once again, the great Wark has demonstrated its usefulness to me. W-H-A-R-K. The Great Wark. This past week, the villagers have been most difficult to manage. Uh, uh, apparently, they have learned of Catherine's arrival. And their fear of this mythic beast... Okay, yeah, so that's like the, the big toothy thing in the that the statue of it, you know, it can come out of its mouth and stuff. Mythic Beast has been, has been all that has kept them in line. Had I known how truly useful these... That's not the same word I was puzzling over in Catherine's journal. Those the letters are in a different order. Right? Uh, had I known how truly useful these prodigious creatures would prove to be, I would have perhaps captured more of them while the local population was still plentiful. Although, to be sure, if these disturbances continue, my current pets will be in no danger of perishing for lack of nourishment. <laughs> wow. Uh, six days later. No, eight days later. The search for Catherine continues. I, am now, I now deeply regret my mistake of having ever taught these primitive people anything at all about the books. <laughs> it seems that with each passing day, I more sorely realize the extent to which they were not ready for that knowledge, not even in the simplified manner in which I had presented it to them. Their minds, adapted only to the exceptionally menial tasks of village life, were incapable of comprehending the art in all its complexity, and thus were unable to extract the essential underlying principles that are, ironically, so elegantly simple. It is obvious that much, much of the discord that exists between us stems from their failure to grasp the full meaning of the information I gave them. If they'd been able to gain even the smallest glimpse of the future I'd planned for them, then this conflict would not exist. The minds of children are much more malleable. With the proper instruction, they have developed a more appropriate posture towards the culture that gave them their lives. At times, they take to it almost as if they had a bit of Dene blood in them. Given the natives' inborn limitations, however, I am quite careful that none gain a level of understanding that would permit them to sin against their future the way that Catherine did. How foolish I was to think that she could contain such knowledge responsibly when it was quite clear that my own son could not. Atris, still he remains, one of the greatest disappointments of my life. I should never have left him with my mother. By the time I'd... By the time I'd returned to him, he had already been poisoned as to all thoughts of the Denis. Perhaps it was the only way that she could rationalize the fact that she had been responsible for the collapse of their civilization. Huh. Okay. So Gen's mother here, something something. So much... Gen's mother, right? I should have never left him with my mother. Yes, okay. So Atris's grandmother. Uh, so much destruction, so many great lives lost. The guilt must have been unbearable. I do have vague recollections of the love she had for my father and for our world. But ultimately, she was an outsider whose ignorance, that's the wrong whose, of the Denis became the catalyst for their demise. If I am able to rebuild our culture and in the process correct such crucial weaknesses, then perhaps what she did was ultimately necessary in order that a new era of prosperity might someday come to pass. Quite a bit later. These last few weeks, I have found myself frequently beset by images from the past. As I stood in the schoolroom today, I was reminded of my own childhood, the years I spent in the Bookmaker's Guild, father's immense pride at each of my small accomplishments there. He was an important man in the Denis world, but I can't bear to think of him for long. It's too much. I was too young to see such a thing. So the art was passed down from Gen's father to him, from Gen to Atrus, but Atrus never taught Cirrus and Achenar, or maybe they weren't interested. They were too busy exploring the worlds of Atrus is making. Maybe they knew something? I mean, they knew something, something. Remember, take only one page. I don't know. Uh, it's too much. I was too young to see such a thing. What now? 
Bookmakers Guild, father's immense priority to my small accomplishments. He was an important man in the Denis world, but I can't bear to think of him for too long. It's too much. I was too young to see such a thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, later. I've got her. Late last night, I received word that Catherine was in the village, attempting to persuade the people to join her. I lost two good men in the process, but I would have paid a hundred times that number for such a prize. Of course you would. She's been taken to the prison island, where I've been attempting to gain some insight as to the reason for her presence here. I've had to fight the all but constant impulse to put her on the gallows. She has adopted the most infuriating stance of only answering my questions when she answers them at all in her native tongue. Even so, she is a poor liar. I am now quite certain that her return to Riven was unintentional and that she brought no linking book with her. At some point, I think Atris did tell me how Catherine ended up here. I don't remember, though. That was a long time ago. Either the end of Mist or the beginning of this game. Anyway, uh, as far as her unwillingness to share... Maybe he didn't tell me that. Maybe he just said Catherine is trapped there. Something, something. As far as her unwillingness to share with me the location of the moiety, we shall see. Without their leader, however, they are once again powerless against me. If Catherine's coming here was indeed an accident, then Atris is bound to come for her. That is a given. The question I must now consider is, how will he do it? It is likely that his hesitation has been due, at least in part, to, the dil to this dilemma. One way or the other. Another, though, he'll have to bring a linking book to get back to Denis. There is no other way. All right, so it's just Dunny is the same, spelled this way or the other way. Sure. It's clearly the location where he is. <laughs> uh, it's late and I cannot sleep. I've lost so much of my life. In my life. My... This handwriting is worse because it's late and he can't sleep. <laughs> That's a nice touch. I've lost so much in my life. My people, my father, my son, and you, my wife, Keta. Keta was his wife. Okay. You were the only true kindness. Where did I see Keta's name before? In Catherine's journal, I think. I could look that up, but I don't want to read that thing again. Uh, you were the only true kindness I have ever known. Watching you flicker there in the images. I sometimes wonder if you were real. If I could restore your life with my pen, I would do so in an instant and leave the rest of the world to their own wretched fate. Teardrop stain, possibly. Damn these savages. I would be well advised to leave them all in the fifth age and begin again with a clean sheet of paper. <laughs> I'm writing a utopia for these villagers. It's very important work. Please leave me to it. Trust me for some reason. I don't think, honestly, if I had somehow come here without having seen the Starfisher uh, telescope destruction thing first, that I would have believed a word he had said. It would have been, it would have had the opportunity to be convincing, but I would not have been convinced by that, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, uh, uh, clean sheet of paper. A stranger has arrived on Riven with a linking book to Denis, Dunny, and once again, my useless minion was overtaken by the rebels. From what little I could decipher from his muddled explanation. That guy lived? So I guess the dart just knocks you out for a while. I mean, the body did move after it was deposited down there. I guess he woke up and walked away and talked again about this. Okay. It apparently occurred sometime this morning. The cage has been damaged, but it is no matter. Everything I need is here now. Atris is certainly behind this. Yet, how could he be so foolish as to send someone here with a linking book? And this is why he was questioning the book, not because he saw something suspicious in it. He can't detect that. Maybe. Such blatancy is unlike him. Could it be that he has had a change of heart after all these years? Is he finally letting his poor old father go? No, he's only after one thing. Perhaps he should find her. For now, I need only to wait and observe. Okay, and that's Gen's journal, part two. All right, so I got a code. Um, I could do this without Catherine, couldn't I? I don't want to, but I could. Like, I know how to signal Atris. I already found out. Maybe she'll just tell me, like, 
No state change will take place when I talk to her, but she'll just hint me at the, uh, the, uh, way to destroy the telescope. So, let's do it! Let's beat the game! I think that might be what's happening here. It took a long time, but then it happened all at once. Alright, so Catherine. Oh, right, there's a music box. I guess that's, that uses the same power source. Mm-hmm. Blue transition, something something, let's go. Close dome. No, no, uh, yes, actually that is what I want to write. Sorry, I, uh, there are two ways to close it. I need to close it the one way, but not the other. So, sneaking into the village was never a thing. It could have been. It was not. Okay, so to translate what I heard... Right, center, right, right, left, left. Didn't work. Was that not it? I guess not. Let's talk to Catherine again. I'll re-listen to that thing in a moment. I either had a listening error or a transcription error, or I don't understand how to use this mechanism. Maybe I pull the lever after each one? If I check it again and it matches what I think I know, then I'll, uh, try that, I guess. Catherine. Nope, gotta input the thing. Okay. Alright, yep, so let's go back, re-listen, check with my notes, because I guess I got something wrong. Alright, weird little noisemaker box, do your thing. Oh, it's only one clank at the end. I thought it was two. Maybe that was one of these cases where, like, the the audio, whatever sound is playing, loops until loading finishes. I'll bet that's what happened. Okay, so just one clank at the end. Got it. <laughs> I love that that gave me a different puzzle solution, of all things. <laughs> Alright, so then that's right, l center, right, right, left. Pull, pull, pull. On the seventh try, it worked. There we go. So, oh, okay. So automatic lift. Hey, Catherine. I did it. We have to move quickly. Mm -hmm. Ken's people may already know what's happening. Once we're back with the moiety, we'll have time to regroup. Can I see the book? You want to go back to mo the moiety? Are you sure? You did it. I did. We're all free. still his followers. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what I'll do once I realize he's gone. Okay. I'll have to get the villagers to safety as soon as possible. You go back to the Temple Island and reopen the fissure. I know it's risky, but it's the only way to signal Atrus. I'll try to make it back there as soon as I can, but don't wait for me. Don't forget, the portal combination's in my journal. Good luck. Yes. Okay. Temple Island, that's what she called it. All right, cool. Can I go poke around in your place? I want to go poke around in your place. I gotta see what happens. 
Yes, I know there's some urgency here. Cursor, please, someday. Eventually. I'm not pressing the space bar. I'm gonna click though. Nothing happens. Cursor, please, someday. Okay, there we go. Whoa, that was a long delay. Does this still work? Right? No, it's disabled. Right, she cut the wires. That's what she was doing there. <laughs> All right, that's a good solution to that. <laughs> and she closed the thing. All right, well, I'll reopen it then. Okay, yeah, so, um, I could have done that without having contacted Catherine. So yeah, there are several potential bad endings that I could have seen that I did not. There's also the question of, like, if I talked again before I had the book in my possession, or talked to Atrus after I had left it with him but he wasn't entrapped. Yeah, there are a lot more possible options here. I'm not interested, I think, in exhaustively going through bad endings. Uh, so I'll be happy enough just to get to a good one, and I think we're doing that right now. Man, I was so sure I was going to sneak into the village and something would happen. Why else would those watchtowers be there? Like, I get detected. They're alerted to my presence. I guess that's just for flavor. It really felt like it was going to be something, though. Uh, the cage closed again. Okay, that's fine. It can do that. Uh, all right, Temple Island. Not this one. Not this one. Yes, this one. That diagram in the power station also was never all that relevant. Um, the one that also showed up in Gen's Journal 1.0. I assumed I would have to do something with that. Oh, right, disk swap. Wait a second. Oh, okay. So this elevator was not here. Uh, hold on. So I ended up... Okay, yeah, it wouldn't have been. This was how I got to Temple Island. I could have, I guess, teleported to another one and come here a different way. Yeah, okay. So traversal... To the domes. I wonder if there's anything interesting I missed. Probably not. I mean I think I think the game is done now. Like this is this is the end. It's gotta be. There are no more puzzles. Just one action to Ooh, this thing closed itself. A bunch of stuff happened here. Dang it. Power on. Can I just do this? I mean I don't need to mess with the fire marbles anymore. Power's on. Okay, good. Where did I come to the... Gen's age from? I'm trying to remember. But I don't. It was some random dome or another. Anyway, um, which way is which? This is Temple Island. That's where the temple is, but I want to go this way. And... Save my game for probably one last time. This is number 23. Alright, let's do it. I think I opened this thing. Yep. So all I gotta do is pull out the stop. And lower. Down. 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 Down! Down. 
So is it like a vacuum down there or something? It's pretty chaotic. <laughs> oh, man. So Gen's not here to summon his henchmen. Let's hope he doesn't... Uh... Wait a second. Catherine took the book. She has it. I don't. There isn't much time. Where's Catherine? Where's the book? Atris! I don't have... Reunited. Gotta get out. The villagers are safely in the rebel age. Nice. I thank you. As do I. You've accomplished more than I could have hoped for. You've given me back my life. The path home is now clear for all of us. You're so quiet. Don't lay your hand on the wrong book. This is where our past must part. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. Are you leaving? Where to find me? Me here? Goodbye, my friend. Why must we part? Are you seriously leaving me here, Atrus? Dude, rude. Well, I guess I'm going down there. Atrus, why? <laughs> this entire family. Uh. <laughs> why would you do that? But it ends as Mist began. Falling into a fissure with a book. Wow. Now I understand. Endings and beginnings are within the fissure. That riven cleft of stars that acts as both a wall and a bridge. And though I am unable to understand how, the very flow of stars that brought my miss book into worthy hands, I am sure served as a safe passage home for my friend. The age of Riven is closed forever, but the people of Riven are free. And now I am at rest. Understanding that in books, and ages, and life, the ending can never truly be written. All right. So that was like an actual ending. Nice. Mist kind of sort of ended with a sequel hook. This didn't so much. There's a Mist 3, there's a Mist 4, there's a Mist 5. Uh, I'm not planning to play them right away. Maybe at some point. Uh, the little bit of research I did indicated that Mist 3 and 4 were not worked on by most of the people who did this. Mist 5, it seemed like, was in some way, so I, I don't know what the heck happened with this. Uh, but I feel like this duology is kind of the the main original thingy. I say that without having played the others. Like, the story continues. Again, I did some research on this. Uh, Atris is still in the story. Something something. Uh things happen. So yeah, I'll probably play those at some point. Uh, not gonna be right away. Anyway, yeah, so, Riven. What did I think of this? <laughs> I'll be straightforward about this. I liked Mist a lot more than I liked this game. Uh, the structure of it was a lot clearer in a way that I liked. And, you know, getting to know those two naughty boys and all their misdeeds in the, uh, the ages they had access to just kind of worked better for me than uh, all the politics and oddities and whatever the heck was going on here. This was cool. You know, this was this was a worthwhile experience. And yeah, this was one of those games. I've done this a few times. More than anything, this reminds me of the Odyssey. <laughs> if you watched that LP, uh, I think I mentioned this already, maybe. But yeah, just like progress in that game was made in tiny little amounts at a time and whenever I would make some I'd come right up against another brick wall that I'd have to chip away at for forever to get anywhere and this gave me that same feeling for most of it I'm glad it all came together as quickly as it did in the end still feel like I got kind of lucky on the marble puzzle like I did not think I had that solved in any way I like just by sheer chance swapped the yellow marble for the blue one 
left the yellow marble in the cup, just like fiddling around, pressed the button, and, and things worked out. So I guess you just had to guess for that? Maybe there was a clue somewhere in there that I missed? Anyway, so that was fun. Uh, any other thoughts I have? <laughs> I read very few comments on this series. I uh, had to fully deploy my every type of spoiler shield that I had. I think I've kind of gotten an okay process for that at this point. Don't feel the need to yell at anybody about it anymore. <laughs> Which is a nice change, probably, for everybody involved. <laughs> and yeah, I don't think any information that affected my experience managed to actually get through my filters. So yeah, I think, uh, I think that worked out okay. I guess I could go back and actually read everything now and find out just how much would have if I wasn't using the filters, but why would I do that? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so that was Riven. Cool. I'm sure there are a few other little things to see in there, but I'm satisfied with the experience that I had. All right, yeah, so, Myth 3, 4, 5, someday, I expect. Uh, Firmament, another game from Cyan Worlds, coming out someday. That's kind of a follow-up to Abduction, I guess. So that'll happen when it happens. I'm sure this isn't the last we've seen of this world or this style of game. But that is the end of Riven for now. All right, I'll see you again for something else.